Good morning everyone. Hope you are well. Today I have decided to do some envelopes with the paper from my um, homespun magazine. Oops. Oh my goodness. The homespun magazine. And because this particular, uh, excuse me for that, um, this particular uh, page had some beautiful stitching on it. And I thought that it would be so appropriate to actually um, make an envelope. So I actually pre, um, I've done this previously, but I'll show you uh, how to actually do the envelope. And rather than gluing, I decided to stitch uh, because since this is stitching. So I thought what I might do is, so I'll show you first. So this is the face and how I've attached, decided to, instead of gluing it to my book, I decided that I would use a clip so I can remove it and I can look at the back and I can obviously store stuff in here. But I'll finish the stitching later. What I will do is I will show you a way to do this and I will show you the next one uh, after. So this is two different styles of envelopes. So for the first one, I want to show you using, so this is the size of the envelope that we're looking at. So this is a full magazine. So I would say it's probably an A4 size. And what I'm going to do is I want to fold my paper about there about two-thirds up and fold this one not quite reaching the end of that piece of paper but just about there so that you have just a little bit under I fold it that and really um, it's quite easy so I'm just going to cut the corners I'm just going to eyeball it and just actually I might just fold that together again I just took, and this is one way that you can get your corners the same. So now I'm going to. Where was that? Cut that like that and just straighten it. And if I want this to be, because I don't have a um, I do have a corner cutter, but if I just want to round it a little bit. Then, if I open it, that will look like that. Now, if I didn't want that white part showing, oh, must have cut. Sorry, I'm trying to fix that now. And just cut a little bit more in there. So now it's all neat, neaten up and you can just put some glue here and some glue here and that is your envelope there. Let me just go and grab some glue and I'll show you how uh, that looks like. So just some glue here. on the sides oops just press it down or of course you can do some stitching which I did on mine and that is your envelope 
there. You can obviously put that in your journal. So if your journal is smaller, like mine, you will have to pre-cut the size of your journal to about there, right? So remember, this is the whole magazine page. So what you would need to do then is to put that here, the piece of paper after you folded it, measure it, cut that, and then cut your envelope out, just to be clear. So now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stitch it. And with stitching paper, I've just decided to just go slow stitching. You can machine stitch, but I just couldn't be bothered uh, getting the machine out just for this. So I decided to slow stitch it. And you know what? I'm not, I'm not particular about um, how neat it's going to be and so I've just left a tail there I'm not going to do a knot and just make sure that you use a sharp needle um, to poke that through and I've just used whatever thread I've got in this case this is the embroidery thread that I've got and so I've just gone and just do a running stitch and just this tail here what I've done is I've just slipped that in here I'm not fussed about it um, moving or anything let me see where's the tail it's here yeah I just want to pull that through and I might cut that up, cut that out a little bit. And so just going in here. Okay, and pulling that through. So this one I've just slipped it under the next stitch. And that's all I've done. I'm just going to cut it short and that should be fine because I'm not going to fiddle around with it. I could just leave it like that and that's fine because I, I didn't want a knot in there. I could put a little dab of glue to just to secure it, which I think I might do. And I'm just going to keep going to the end. So I've put a dab of glue on there. And that will dry clear because it's uh, just normal PVA glue or Elma glue uh, that or fabric glue that will definitely dry just it will stop it coming um, out and and that should be fine because that's all I wanted I didn't want a knot in there so I'm just going to let it dry and what I thought I might do is just to find some words just to put here. Okay, while that dries, let me just work on the next one. So this next one is, um, I wanted that, I wanted that, um, uh, that lampshade because it looks really pretty and that flower there to be the central focus of my envelope. Uh, so what I've done is, um, so let me show you on a different shade of paper. Say, this is the shade of paper. What you want to do is, this is, assuming this is the front, what you want to do is you want to fold that like that. And that. So overlapping it about there so you overlap that and what you can do then you can glue this part all right and what I'm going to do is measure the size of the envelope that I want so for this one I'm going to cut here 
So I folded that and I'm going to cut here. You can obviously make a taller one, that's fine. And what I'm going to do then, I actually like these flowers at the bottom, so I'm actually going to reuse that. This is just for the exercise to show you. So I'm going to do that, cut that off, and this one. And cut that off. So what then we're going to do is glue this part. Actually, before that, I'm going to fold that down. Sorry, fold that down there like that, and fold this. Then, what I can do is just round the corners you don't have to but you can because it looks better just round the corners like that round these corners and these ones okay I don't have a corner I actually do have a corner rounder but I just decide that I'll just do it that way and you just glue on the inside here and glue here for the bottom flap you might have to glue the inside too and obviously this one we don't want to glue because we want to leave it open so that you can actually put something in there so have a look at this one. So I will glue this one now. Actually, I need to glue on the inside first. There and there. And I can glue on the inside here. And then if you look inside that's how it looks like but can you see how this particular paper has got pattern on the inside I really like that I think it's really cool and I've decided to put it in my book like that so that I can actually remove it and put it there like that and I was thinking maybe for that one I might actually put some mini photos in there uh, when I print them out I'm gonna put them in there but I just wanted to show you um, with that that's that hasn't quite dried yet but um, so I'm going to put that one there and I decided to so I've got these words that are uh, left over from um, and I'm not sure I'll use them particularly uh, in any of the other projects. So I decided I might use that and put that there like that. Just for added interest. This is, and I don't know if I'll put something there. Actually, maybe I might just go photos. There you go, it says photos, photos, I'm going to put photos there and I also made out of my word search, so this is my word search book, this is my word search book which I've done some of it but normally what do you do with your word search book, throw it in the bin after when you're done. But I just love the, see how there's uh, the illustrations and when I did my word search, I did them in colour pencils or crayons um, and they look cool, don't they? 
So I decided to make a mini envelope and use those words that I had. And I actually continued, can you see the drawing here? I continued that onto the flap so that it looks like it's one picture. And then when you open the flap, you can see the actual drawing itself. And of course you can put things in there. And I decided to put that in here and maybe do a few more of various sizes of envelopes uh, just as a practice. And that will be my envelope page in episode. I'm just trying to think what episode this is. Episode. Oh my goodness, 17. Yes, so it's all about envelopes. But I think it's really cute um, when it sits in there like that. Um, I'm going to um, perhaps make a few more uh, miniature uh, envelopes to stick in here. And these ones will be a photo, um, one for personal photos or any photos that I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to keep in there. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully you'll give this a go and thanks again for watching and um, have a good day. Bye!